Have you ever wondered why your song sounds empty, unfinished, and ready for the trash can? Well, I do, and because of that, I've studied millions of songs across the globe. <laughs> Years of hard work, research, talking with my dog, and asking strangers for help, and now finally, I cracked the code. I designed the sample pack with 60 ambient sounds that will make your song release ready. Direct interrupt those sounds in your songs, and the result will be mind blow. Not convinced yet? Ha, have a listen to this. You know what to do? Go to my website www.rubbymanus.com and buy yourself this pack and make your song release ready. I launched a brand new sample pack. Today I'm gonna show you all the sounds and how you can use them. So I prepared a few projects. Let's have a listen first. Look what happens if I mute the first three ambient sounds. This is without. This sounds so empty. And we're only adding three ambient sounds from my pack. It starts to, to feel alive. I will show you separately. Then obviously I have these reverses which are also from my pack. And then I have this one. It just helps to glide into the... And that's what, this one comes in. And it's just to fill up the gaps. Alright, let's move on and give you another example how you can use this ambient sounds in your songs. If you're making an extended mix of your song and you're working on the intro, it can be very helpful if you've got some ambient sounds in the intro. So let me show you. I skip a little bit. Notice how one is pitching to create more movement. And this is if you mute all the ambient sounds um, in the intro. You see, like, it's just such a big difference. Now, as you can hear, it's very easy to make a intro with these ambient sounds, just to, to fit it up and to, to make it more alive. But if you're not convinced yet, let's, um, you know, give uh, one more example. My last example, I opened up a project I'm working on and uh, I was trying to add these sounds into the drop. I didn't want to overuse it because, you know, it should be like subtle. It's just for ambience for in the background, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Yeah, focus uh, on these uh, ambient sounds. I will also show it uh, separately, but this is what it sounds like. It just like uh, glides in every time. I will show you solo. So this is what it sounds like. Like it cuts off straight away, which is very cool in a drop. And this one's nice. And then uh, it ends off with a chord one together with uh, these two. And it just makes it more complete. It makes it more finished. And look how empty this is. But if I apply this, you know what I mean? It's, it's those little details that make sense. So 60 high quality presets split in three different folders. The first one exists out of 20 holding notes, which is just like what, like a certain sound on one note. Like for instance, um, all of them have some movement inside to make it a little bit more exciting. But you can add, of course, as well for yourself some extra panning or some reverb or some automation clips, whatever you want to do. Then the second pack is focused on reverses, which is always very useful. And the third one is focusing on chords, which is very handy for intros. Like that just sounds super cool. For instance, if you have, if you got this one, 
like there's already some rhythm inside and if you add some kick on top just great for your intros of a song so that's definitely cool so if you want to support this channel uh, make sure to click the link here down below thanks for watching if you liked the video thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down it's all fine but for now thanks for watching this video and hopefully i check you in a brand new video Woo!